Hello, I'm Darren, and welcome back to our channel. What we got for you today is the Metalhead box from July 2021. That takes a hell of a long time to get here. It's coming from Canada. For some reason it takes longer than anything else does. So they send it to Canada, they have to send it from Canada to America, and from America to here. Who knows? Anyway, this box uh, is the equivalent of £33.89 in British money. And it has a lot of different genres. Uh, the genre I picked is power metal. Whether or not it would actually be power metal this time is another, another thing, but there you go. Right. <laughs> Let's see what we got. I've definitely squeezed a lot into this little box. Yeah, he's, he's only that big. <laughs> Alright, we've got, we've got a pin from a group called Rot. Take that out of there. Give it a shine. It's quite a nice pin. It's nice detail, nicely finished. It's got Two pin connectors in a pack. So yeah, so for that, we say about a fiver. That's not a bad start. Next, we've got the t-shirt. Mm. It's quite. Have no clue who these are. It's quite a nice t-shirt. Evoken. What's that? I don't know who they are. It's quite a nice t shirt of the, the graveyard. Yeah. The Celtic work running around it. Yeah. It's very nice. So what we say on here t shirts, better tenner. Because you pay that. General price you'll pay for t shirts over here in, let's like say, like Esther or Primark or bit. So, um, I don't know, paying t shirts cost a lot more. You're probably looking at about 20, 25 quid, but as we always say, 10 quid. 10 quid. <laughs> All right. Again, I don't know these. Living Death. I'm guessing they're Death Metal Band. Just by the way it's written. Yeah, Living Death. Not a clue. It's quite a nice little patch though. And yeah, so you'd be looking, probably looking about a fiver for that. Because they're not cheap patches, so. Yeah. Oh, two CDs. We'll leave them. A bit. What have we got? Death Metal Winery Name Generator. I love the picture on the other side. <laughs> I love that picture. And we've got a Death Metal Winery Name Generator. Uh, what is it? First, uh, first letter of your first name. So it'd be rapid. Last one you drank. The answer was the last one I drank. Which isn't doing that. Uh, Merlot, probably. <laughs> I haven't drunk for years, this is the thing. Uh, Alright, we've got, uh, so it's Scourge. Rapid Scourge. First name of your last, first letter of your last name. Power. Rapid Scourge Power. <laughs> Come on, Death Metal Winery name. Rapid Scourge Power. Hmm. Bit of fun. I'll say with the 
picture on it. It's not worth a quid, isn't it? It's quite a nice little picture you can put up. So it's Cult Never Dies Compendium 3. He's got bits from different interviews with different groups or saying about different groups. Right, any of Amorphous. Yeah, so you got I'm say different one. Oh, yeah. Glenn Benton. Everyone favourite another. <laughs> if you got a couple of day side albums. <laughs> uh, uh -huh. Would you view yourself as a Satanist? Well, what's standing around chanting? I've done all that. I've tried all those things. But did I get anything out of it? No, I get more out of messing with Christians than I do holding a black candle. <laughs> yeah, he was well known saying he's got got inverted cross burnt into his forehead. You know, enthroned as fix. Yeah, it is. It's all right, epic, probably a nice little bit of raid. That would be worth it. Can I quit, I suppose? Yeah, and what about here? Oh, Mor Morbid Angel, Trey, Agus, nah. Azagthoth, Trey Azagthoth. Not familiar with their music. I've actually heard of the group, though, which always helps. <laughs> I've only got his signature there. Exclusive 2021, Metalhead Box. I usually say on the, on the bits, they usually cost you a minimum of a tenner. So, put a tenner on it. And, and we've got the albums of Die Wolf. Never heard of them. So. Back of it, and oh, I've actually heard of this group, and it's actually a power metal group as well. <laughs> Blind Guardian. This is the 25th anniversary release of live recordings celebrating the band's classic album, Imagination from the Other Side. Live in Uberhausen. Now, I know normally I will go off and listen to them, but we've, bits going, we've got bits going on at the moment with family and bits like that, so I haven't actually got time to listen to them at the moment. But I wanted to get it on here so you could see what I've got. Um, I will just zoom off quickly just to get some prices for these CDs. But then I went back. I'm back with well, the price bits for them. Uh, the, Blind Guardian CD. It's currently on Amazon, £16.10. Which is not bad. It's quite a good price. Right. Die Wolf? Not a clue. I can't find it on anything. They've got a... They had a Bandcamp page. <coughs> Apparently they're traditional heavy metal. Uh, it says to buy the album, click on this link, and uh, the website doesn't exist anymore. No one's got it. No one's got it. I can't find it available on even on eBay. Or nothing. Japan. Japan's usually a good bet, but no, nothing. Never at all. It does not exist. <laughs> so, the price on this, I haven't got a clue. Nothing. Because I don't know. It's a question mark. It could be worth a fortune, it could be worth nothing. Who knows? Right. Put those prices together, you come to 
price of £49.80. Which, I mean, it's not. But bear in mind that, I mean, some of these prices are pretty low. I mean, like a t shirt probably costs you about 20 25 quid. Uh, the Diewall CD is not included in that at all because I've got no price, I've got no idea. Um, and I found a Morbid Angel autograph of these ones uh, that sold on eBay in America for thirty dollars. So that's that's probably about twenty one, twenty two quid. So yeah, you'd be, be looking at a few bits more on them. But that's, that's a fair price, I say. So we're looking at about another sixteen quid more. So that's pretty good for any sort of box. Yeah, as I say, I can't listen to it at the moment, but I will give these these a good listen to in the car. And until next time, have a good one.